school here during the wartime, and things were quite hard in those days because things were restricted. We had rationing for butter, tea, sugar, clothing, meat, and we had rationing because we had to, New Zealand had to supply England and other countries with our produce because they were getting bombed and were involved very much more in the war than we were. So we were their f food supply, so therefore we had to restrict it to us. So we had this rationing. We all had to carry little first aid kits around with us all the time. We had trenches under the Budokawa trees, which were not as tall as they are today. They weren't even up as high as the power lines then. And we had trenches at the back of the school, and we'd have evacuation drills every now and then so that the siren would go, and we'd all go and jump into our trenches with our kits and what have you. And we even had trenches at home. Every house had a trench so that uh, when you're home and if anything happens, you had to go into your trench at home. And we used to have air raid drills then too. And the school was the headquarters for um, any emergency. So uh, my parents always had to come to school during those practices. And uh, we went down to the trench at home. Oh, very basic because they're only small. It was mainly, mainly plasters and cotton wool and uh, a bit of dressings and things like that in case you've got scratches or cuts and things. Well, in those, during the wartime we started off with the European war. That was fighting the, uh, in Europe, in the Middle East, and then the, later on the Japanese and the Eastern War started. So really the Japanese was our biggest foe because they could fly so much, so long distances, and they even got into Wellington and the um, Cook Strait, and they even got to Darwin and north of um, Australia. So that was the one we were in fear of, and it was mainly through uh, aeroplanes and shipping was the problem. Yes, at that time, uh, blackouts, well, petrol rationing too, so you didn't have, you didn't drive your cars, and blackouts, you had to have all your windows all covered at night, so you, nobody could see any lights on. And it restricted a certain amount of activities, but Fitzroy School, we still had our past socials because we'd cover up all the windows and have no lights showing so we could have our socials. That was the main thing. Was, um, and also we had um, limited travel. You could only go 50 miles on a train because of the, um, you didn't want people um, using up too much fuel and things like that, so just 50 miles on a train. Well, the home guard, we had the home guard it was uh, situated in, at the Fitzroy Golf Club in the golf links. And they were the people who were going to be protecting us because our, a lot of mums and dads had gone to the war. So the, we had the people who were left behind. They were the home guard and they trained and practiced so that they were going to look after us if anything happened. Or well, the memorial gates. Well, they were there when I started school. I don't know when they were built. But they were there for the Great War. That was a 1914-18 war. That was, they were built in memory of the Fitzroy School pupils who had passed away in that war. And then, uh, of course, we used them for Anzac Day every day, every year. And when I was at school, each class made a wreath. And we'd have a little service in the hall. And then each class would go and lay their wreath on the gates on Anzac Day. Mm -hmm.